We're all actors. Here are the final two episodes, seven and eight of Jury Duty, where the mask finally comes off and we see how everything in the show was set up. And holy my God, you people that don't believe any of this is real and think Ronald's an actor think you're so smart. We have people that have met this man in real life. We know he's not an actor and the show goes through great lengths to prove that in these episodes. If you still don't believe it, you probably think the moon's made of cheese. I can't help you. Anyways, welcome new, very cool, smart subscribers and enjoy my final reaction. I'm not being paid off by big Amazon. You take that back. I heard the show gets fucking wild in the end. Fingers crossed. Today is the last day. We're going to deliberate. Guys, big news. Lone Pine director canceled. Oh. Yeah. Canceled. How's that big Done. news? Oh, Done. He, get the Dead. Part. he called some bitch sweetheart or something like that. <gasps> Wait a second. Can't do that. Anyway, let's <laughs> get canceled, bro. The judge did confirm yesterday that it has to be unanimous. So I have to stand up and deliver the news that at the very least one person is not going to like to hear. Just kind of gives me butterflies a little. I rem remember you told me that you you did not want to be um, foreman I and uh, I, for I person. And I also did not did not want to be for person. I'm glad he is, not not me. Yeah. <laughs> kind of adding to the anxiety there, Ken. But sure. I'm proud. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all a reflection of you know we in this together. We got some serious stuff to do today. Y'all look over the evidence. Once y'all done looking it over, y'all will vote. If it's unanimous, Officer Nikki is my comfort. We can get into the courtroom. Trainer. You gonna keep voting until y'all can get to a unanimous vote. And trust each no other. Once we get the toxicology this report, show doesn't make this as difficult as possible for Ronald to get a unanimous vote. Do you feel persuasive? Uh, no, because I come in at this unbiased. So no, I don't feel persuasive because I'm not trying to convince anybody of anything. You know. Interesting. That's why I'm nervous about this. I just want to hear what other people have to say, honestly, before I. I mean, it's so obviously against I, I the guy, know, man. right? We have to step up when we are needed. And, uh, but on the other hand, I'm also, I don't really have the responsibility because I'm not on the jury, technically. I missed last time Noah's still trying to fuck. Noah did fuck. They soaked. And James Marsden helped him out. It was the funniest shit ever. So I can kind of zone out. It's like going to a party with a bunch of friends and... You can drink your ass off because someone else is going to be the designated driver, not me. This is essentially us like us taking a vote right now, gauging yeah, yeah. how everybody feels. So how, which way, which way are we well, leaning? What's everybody charge. feeling? I don't think the defendant is liable. That's me. I think he is. I think the defendant's liable. So we are one for one. Jeannie, how are you feeling? Booty torture. Thanks for the pride. I feel that the defendant so. is not liable. Change that name. How are you feeling, Noah? I, I feel. I feel the same. I feel the same way. Do you have anything so you want to support with Jeannie, that with? Soaked. Anything? Uh, no, no, I mean, I just, that's just kind of... That's how you feel? I feel, yeah. Todd, how you feeling? Uh, not liable. Inez? I think the defendant is liable. Ken, how you feel? I believe the defendant is liable. Lonnie? I don't think he's liable. Vanessa? Um, right, so I do it seems think pretty he's split liable. here. I agree with Ken. It feels to me like they're both liable. Can't which say means that, Barbara. she didn't prove anything. But if I have to pick a side, I'd say he's liable. Okay. Ravi, how you feeling? My 30-year face reading experience is the fact, and he's liable. So where are you? I'm here with Barbara. I find them both liable. As you can see here, wow. you guys were damn near split. He only made yellow. He, okay. But they Wait said that he also no, pooped. they oh, said he only made the yellow. other. If you say void your bowels, it means poop. That's visual. I bowels can see poop. that coming out. Ronald thought. Should we racist. ask the judge? If it was poopies or peepees. Either one. Like, like that poopies. exam you have Everybody to do. Think they're adding this one? This just seems like a conversation between me, Gabby, Chris, and Andy right now. Just talking about poop. Yeah. He did say he emptied his bowels. He didn't say what that meant. Well, bowels, bowels is a duty. Wait, you're not yeah. supposed to be talking. And we're not supposed to be talking about chemicals anyway because the judge said to strike it. The judge did order us to disregard this notion. But what I won't disregard is the fact that when Lonnie and I were at the factory, we pointed out that there were very clearly some barrels moved, but it is very possible that those barrels were moved up into that room because they knew we were coming to eliminate that odor. I saw okay. this coming though. I'm People can't even get on the same. I just, I just want to say, I just want to say one thing. I, okay, I've been teaching for 10 years and I know hundreds, hundreds of Trevors. They you know, have goals and they have dreams That's and stuff, but they're not going to accomplish that unless they learn from their consequences. If we, as a group, find them liable, he learns from that. I think we're doing him a favor. You know, you're guilty. You're guilty. Oh. No offense to Trevor or to Sean, but they didn't seem thoughtful in what they were wearing. And that was a little offensive for me. A little I bit. That. I had a trucking company. 
And as the employer, I am always responsible for my drivers. At the end of the day, I am responsible. She is responsible for whatever he did. It doesn't, it doesn't And he also it. said she's rarely there. I don't think that's how that works, but I admire his mean? American attitude what does that about mean? it. It means she's not running her business right. Because you have to she's take in consideration the working conditions there. You know, you can't. Yeah, he may have done it, but he's tripping on chemicals. You can't just ignore that. He, he tells us that he was drinking the night before. We know that for sure. So was it a very, very low amount? And does that reflect? Or is, does he have a 0.1 blood alcohol content? Was he drinking the that morning come back? he went? His blood alcohol content. Um, we were told that How we much? would see the toxicology report. Um, he wasn't able to talk about it. But when we look at it, he confirmed what I've been talking about. His blood alcohol content is going to be very, very low because it's just going to be left over from the night before. That well, was key so to me. If his blood alcohol content was very high, that means that more than likely he was drinking in the morning before he went to his shift. Smart which would have shown his blood alcohol content is point zero. One. So very intelligent. One. Judging off this number, going off my own past experiences, this is nothing. This is him drinking the night before. So to me, that corroborates his story that I'm he was that. not drunk. That could be mouthwash. So he did not pass out because he was wasted. I wonder what this room does to you, like as a person. Maybe he's not that smart, but maybe he thinks he's really smart right now and he's so confident because everyone else in the room is acting like idiots. Just to recap. So we know that Trevor Morris placed himself at the workstation where the incident occurred. He said he started working, he was then shaken awake. You guys saw the workstation. You have to type something into the keyboard, you have to submit it to the machine. We heard from three different people, a human would have to have intervened in order for that machine to not shut itself down. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh it was you. But Mr. Schiller has testified, protein he shakes. didn't see Trevor show up to work that day. So, so Oh my God. I'll be done, I'll be done. Sorry, done. Mr. Schiller, he didn't see him at his workstation. He got a report from somebody else who was on the floor that Trevor was being Just disrupted. So he finished his phone call That's and then he good. went down there. So, based off of everything we've been told, more likely than not, was it Trevor who pushed these buttons in? It's his workstation, he's admitted to being there. So I think that he was the one who entered the information wrong but I don't think it was his negligence that caused him to input this wrong information. It sounds like he had poor working conditions. Going back to the comment Pat made, God damn, as an Ronald's employer, spitting. you are responsible. Ronald's going not only off. providing safe working conditions, but you are responsible for what your employees are doing Holy. too. I wanna to talk about his workstation next. What Lonnie and I noticed, Directly across from his station, Bro, there were two did research rings the night right before. here. There were very, very clearly some sort of paint, some sort of chemical. So this corroborates what he was telling us yesterday when he said that his workstation was not the same. He specifically said that these tanks had been moved, and Lonnie and I did witness this. And Todd can corroborate this one too. When we went upstairs, Throwing there was a words back like room. Corroborate? Very, very what heavy chemical smell mean? coming out. We were just stayed in there for a few minutes. Like very easy like could have got light. I just wanted to say that I... If Trevor really was such a problem, probably was negligent on their part for even keeping him around for this long if he was such a terrible employee that he has been made out to be. Then you look at why were these moved? Why would you take these barrels up those stairs to just stash them in this room? Car. To me, that doesn't that's add up. So that's why I'm leaning the way I'm leaning. Trevor said everything I needed him to say when he told us about his unsafe working conditions, about I'm, his this stuff is being too big moved brain for that was right near his station. That put everything together for me. <sighs> I uh, wonder so I what percent of chat right I'm now follows heart. that reasoning because I don't fucking follow it. I'm sure it makes sense. I think this show is meant to be binge watched and I have made you fuckers and myself miss weeks in between episodes. So I kind of lost some things. We are a decision making body and I take what you say and Ronald, what you said was very important for me. So I've never done jury duty. As you know, I have the jury duty notice on my desk right here and I still haven't done anything about it. I'm hoping I can ignore it to the point that it just kind of disappears. Is this really how a jury goes? Like, is this how a procession goes in the back room? Do you not have somebody qualified in there at all? Because I can't imagine everybody who doesn't know the law deciding whether you're guilty or not. I don't get it. Do you think we should do a vote now? You guys want to yes. do a vote? Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Wait, can we do an anonymous vote? Anonymous. They come because after you. he keeps... Yeah. 
No, are you not making your own decision? He's like not even I, I, listening. I'm no, I'm, I'm and totally. And it's trying to piss me off. I'm saying, I'm saying what I believe. It just happens to be also what my girlfriend. No, you gotta make your own decisions. Girlfriend, I'm paying attention. I want to do the best job that I can, especially since the judge appointed me as the four person. Now I feel like I have the responsibility. God to damn, leave. Ronald's too good of a guy. Yeah, Meanwhile, it's like jury duty. I'm gonna sell it Fuck on that. Either. Read me off what we. Right. Not liable. Not liable. Not liable. Not liable. Okay. Not liable. Who's gonna be liable? It's gonna be James Marsden, isn't liable. it? Not liable. One, one more. One more. Liable. Liable. One person on the fence. Without naming any names, we'll open this to the group. What is the supporting evidence that shows that Trevor is liable? And again, this is for everyone. He's really a good teacher. Leading the room. I made it a point to not single that person out because we did an anonymous vote. I, I really don't time. know <laughs> what I'm gonna do, to be honest. Who said it? Uh, well, this isn't getting resolved anytime soon, so what do you say we take a break? How That's is a it nice going? Way of putting How it. long do you think this is gonna take? I mean, who's to say? I get it. I'm getting it now. Ross is stalling. I don't know why, but that's the plot point. He's saying liable because he's stalling for some reason. Yeah, I hope it's it. over as soon as possible. And I, it's definitely him. And I feel the opposite. Ross, he's the one. The one. Yeah. Oh yeah. I called that shit too. Honestly, I think he's doing this because he wants us to stay here. Damn it! I said that first. I love him, but he, you Ross know, but I think he's doing this because he doesn't want to go home. Can you talk to Ross? You know it's a poll thing of the prime. We're never gonna get out of here if you don't get there now. It's a delicate situation, you know, because I have to get somebody to change their mind, but I can't pressure them. I don't want them to feel like they're being forced to change their mind just to go along with the group. The Give case it to them can't, real, Ronald. You know, First of all, I just want to say, dude, I'm sorry for what you're going through, man. I, I can only imagine. Be um, that being said, you know, regardless of whatever outcome we come here, whatever decision we come to, you know, we're all always gonna be a family. We're always gonna be there for each other. It's just like you said, there. You know, we form some strong bonds. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know. This is affecting somebody's life right now. Like, this is really gonna affect Too good of a guy. I, I just really like hanging out with you guys. Okay, so if we can just stretch it a little bit. I don't like hanging out with you too, man. I got nothing going on at home. We just gotta- I wish know, that was real. set our feelings just, aside and again, I'm sorry. Man, my I can We've gotta get this finished. Yeah. Damn. All right, let's take another vote. Same question, guys. Is the defendant liable? Not liable. Right, baby. You want to read it, Jay? I'm just going to mix it up. First what one, not liable. Are we going to do this? There's no way it's not, not, not liable. Not liable. Fourth. Fuck with us. Not liable. A lot of buildup. A lot of buildup for, for just not liable again. Not liable. Okay. Oh, oh <gasps> my really dragged gosh. that one out. We did it, guys. We did it. Great job, guys. All right. Great job. Great job. What a guy. Right. How does it feel? Just a lowly alternate, uh, an understudy, if you will. Uh, made the they greatest impact of all. Duty. They are in a jury. He's hiring those fake paparazzi to come here and make a scene. Oh, you made it to what? it. Are you it's serious? Like, what? What? Sequester for nothing? Yeah. Oh, no, no, it doesn't matter. We're, we're a family. You are an asshole. So my wife can't take, take that away from me. <laughs> I wish we got Ronald's reaction to that. Like, he has to think James Morris right. is just a huge piece of shit at this point. <laughs> has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Okay, would you please stand up and Let's would, go, you Ronald. Please, would you please read the verdict? <clears throat> we, the jury, in the above entitled action, render the following verdict. To the charge of negligence resulting in property damage, no personal injury, we find the defendant, Trevor Julian Morris, not, not liable. liable. <sighs> to the charge of negligent infliction of emotional distress, we find the defendant, Trevor Julian Morris, not liable. Not liable. Uh, Mr. Fourperson, could you come up here with the verdict? What is the last episode about? Like them just getting disbanded? And Take like, a seat here. I just got just one more formality. Can I see the verdict, please? You are juror number six. Is that correct? Correct. This is your signature? That is correct. Okay. Uh, I hereby enter judgment in favor of the defendant and against the plaintiff. Hold on just, hold on just a second. Sorry. Okay. Your name is? Ronald Glenn. Okay. Now, yep. as I said weeks ago when you first entered this courtroom that this was the last trial of my career. What's going on here? What I didn't tell you is it's also Are the first. Are they telling him now? Uh, because oh. I'm not a real judge. Oh, shit. And you're not a real four person. This is not a real case. What? Oh, 
fuck. <laughs> That was an interesting reaction. We'll see the rest of it now. But you would actually be so fucked. You would be so fucked in the head if that, if the judge was telling you that too, I wouldn't even believe him right away. I'd be like, ah, I don't know. In 2021, over 2,500 people applied to take part in what they were told was a documentary style project about jury duty. Here's the background, non-believers. I believe it. We have someone in chat who knows him in real life. I believe it. Out of all the applications, one was chosen, applicants. Hello, my name is Ronald. I am a 29-year-old male. <laughs> Come on, you gotta believe in this. <laughs> Number 54. Three weeks, holy shit. You would be entirely bought in by then. Three weeks of your life hanging out with these people, you would be bought in. He's been sequestered in a hotel, no phone, no internet, and limited access to the outside world, that as well. see this beautiful reaction. With the case closed, there's just one thing left to do. Hold on, just Break hold on news. just a second. <laughs> Should have trolled more. I just want to make sure we have that clean shot to his eyeline when he's turning and looking at the judge. It's nerve wracking. <laughs> They're all so nervous. Mr. Four Person, could you come up here with the verdict? All right, here we go. Ready, guys? Here we go. Seeing the background is kind of cool, actually. Well, let's get that clean yeah, shot of him looking like a dumbass. Close. I apologize. Um... This judge really, I mean, give this guy an actual judge job after this because he talks exactly how a judge would. He's so poised and calm. I mean, he it, it just, it just fits the character Weeks ago, well. What I didn't tell you is it's also the first. Uh, that could just be somebody's Because I'm not a real judge. And you're not a real four person. This is not a real case. What? Each of better. your fellow jurors, as well as the defendant, the plaintiff, Bailiff Nikki, myself, we're all actors. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you saw was carefully planned. What I'm saying is, it was all fake, except for one important element, you. I wouldn't know whether to you cry. See, Ronnie, <laughs> even though the case of Hillgrove versus Morris wasn't real, there was most definitely a trial held inside this courthouse. You were presented day after day with countless challenges, responsibilities, and ethical dilemmas. You knew Mr. Marsden caused the sequestration. Everything of I'm saying right now is scripted. Hunt, Currently, you never told a soul. These paparazzi are they here for you? Uh, I believe so. I've gotten used to it, to be honest. We put you in an adjoining <laughs> hotel room with Todd, whose odd demeanor and obsession with body parts were specifically intended to frighten you. Oh, hey, what's okay. up, bud? Hey, what's up? Nice. But you didn't shut him out. You welcomed him into your room and into your non-optimally designed heart. You refused to accept Ken's $2,000, even though you beat him at Ute Fair and Square. I promise I will owe you. No, 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 no. He no, still no. owes that money. Which all those rules made up didn't exist. You took the blame for Marsden's giant ship. <laughs> Everyone knows about the giant shit now. So that was you, huh? It might have been. Mm, obviously. Ronald, the list goes on and on. And perhaps it should surprise no one then. I mean, this show could have went an awfully job different direction. Kind of a job. This is a nice story this. in the end. We've decided Not that you, enough. Ronald Gladden, are a hero. You are, Ronald. In recognition of your service, your kindness, and strength of character. Here's $20. I hereby award you the sum of $100 thousand dollars congratulations Ronald. What? this case is now oh, a joke. wow i thought they were gonna give him like a little fucking plaque or something i didn't know they're actually gonna fucking come out with the big boy money congratulations oh my god no i'll even blame the gavel if you want all right yeah i wouldn't be upset at that point everyone loves me from the show and i made 100k <laughs> no, <fucking yes>. <laughs> <laughs> It still looks like he's acting. I don't know why. Love you, bud. Holding on. Are you kidding? What? Lonnie, too? Oh, you suck. <laughs> Lonnie was so no, chill. It doesn't feel real. It really doesn't. I, I thought it was a joke at first, but then it's like everything just kept happening. So I don't know. <laughs> You must have a ton of questions. So if if uh, you're up for it, we'd like to take you behind the the curtain. No, I mean that's. <laughs> I'm in a discovery phase. So. <laughs> Are you a real cop? 
God damn it. Ronald it is wholesome though, for sure. Again, part of me, I'm, I'm like so many of you guys, I'm a skeptical piece of shit who, who can't believe in wholesome smiles and real affection that people have for each other. If you're in chat and you're one of those people, I'm with you, all right? It's like, damn, you're telling me this guy's not an actor? I believe it, all right? So uh, if any of you guys are skeptical, just trust me. I don't know. <laughs> My mind would be this is crazy. You would feel Actually, like you're made out to be the joke, but like he knows he was good on the show, but like you would feel like you're made out to be a fucking joke. Yeah, he's in position. I saw him doing it. Okay, we can send him. go. This is the background. Do you even remember this room, Ronald? I mean, yeah. Spiegel, you can bring the camera out inside now, too. It's amazing. I don't know. Go into here. What the f Oh, it's a camera spot? We engineered that so there were only four open seats to like get you to sit kind of where we want you to. So like, really? like what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the idea, whole idea was when he walks in, the only seats that should be open are these seats. Dude, it was so difficult to not laugh immediately when you were like, well, I saw this episode of Family Guy. Dude. <laughs> Cause like when I brought it up, like we had gotten rid of that because it was like, there's no way he's going to say that it would be too difficult. But I was like, we were sitting here for such a long time. Oh man, they're going to cut the Noah racist bit. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, Noah's a writer? No, Zero he's suggests saying. Noah says he's racist and can't be impartial. We were sitting here for such a long time. It says writer's like, subtitle. Oh. Shot, what do people usually say when they're I mean, trying to, like, I don't read subtitles. I can listen to goddamn ears, like, what's all right? I'm only going off the thing I've seen on Family Amy right? Dorange, thank you for the prime stuff <laughs> for two months. Wait, Love your stuff, man. What have I missed? No. Not much. Watching the ending no. of this no. fake reality show. No. I'll act no. like that. And I'm kind of going from the background of it. I did not think Noah would run with it, but he definitely gave it a shot, and it did not work out for him. Behind this mirror is a camera. What's going on with you, man? That corner has a camera. I didn't get a chance to move. Got a camera behind this door. Cameras inside here. Sheesh. I accidentally I called it. a juror by her real name. Oh shit. That's Cassandra's bag. Can one of y'all grab her bag for her? Who's is it? Cassandra. Cassandra. Oh. My name's Cassandra Blair. I oh, shit. play Vanessa. I got it. Oh fuck. <laughs> we don't have a Cassandra. We don't have a Cassandra. Oh no. my lord. She said Cassandra. We don't have a Cassandra. The oh my god, she almost you. fucked up the sweat. entire and show. And I say, hey, that's Cassandra Bay. You are who I'm referring to. Right. Well, I mean, would the show suit nice you? Nice to see you again, Cassandra. Thank oh, they brought you. a new person in. People had to figure out how to um, order lunch <laughs> for people so that it would seem like it was coming at a specific time from the court instead of from a film Like how this last episode that, that was, was like a documentary. Part. You're such a bitch. I know, I know. So you guys all met for yes. the first time here. Yeah, 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 yeah pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Wow. Hi, my name is Ross Kimball. Susan Becker. Ramul Kumar. Hi, my name's Susan, Maria Russell. Like hey there, I'm Android Whitney friend. Rice. I am Ben Seward. Rashida, she's a liar, five foot three. My doctors be saying I'm five foot two, but f still. I, sometimes when I'm driving, <laughs> I just sort of like close my eyes. Fucking for liars. Stretches. I went into this show not knowing uh, details about my character until the weekend before we started rehearsing. Yeah. Like he talks exactly like his character. Even the way he's pausing just seems like him. <laughs> What about you and Noah? So Heidi, yeah, like, like <laughs> Heidi's his actual girlfriend. So that's that was real. But that her name's Nessie. Yeah, that was my real girlfriend. So you guys found. soaked. Oh, so that was like, he had a girlfriend in real guy. life. No, no, that was like a photo that was taken here. <laughs> Who is the guy? <laughs> they put a backdrop up there. God, like, damn it. What about that bulge? bulge? Was that real? No, that was a cucumber cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> was it really? Oh my, no, I've oh my god. So my name is Ron. It is. It is. When I, it was hard to talk as slow as Ken talks. He talks so slow. Consistently. <laughs> well, it was hard for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> so do, are you really into like electronics, technology, shit like that, or? Uh, you know, like, not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, these look such interest in their characters. Yeah, the show's wholesome though. I wonder how your mind would work. If I had a bunch of people acting and you loved them so much, but you love their characters, I think that would still transfer over to liking them in real life. I think so, right? There's no way you don't love 
love James Morrison even after you find out he's acting like a piece of shit, you know? Feeling like, I don't really oh want it. Oh my God! What just happened? He could have went crazier. I wish he did. He's upset, he's upset. Oh, he's, he's fixing it. He's fixing it. At least tell the James. bailiff we just don't want him to come back. I mean, nobody wants him here. That's outrageous. That's Can I get cool Officer uh, Curtis, please? You got him a cake? Oh, dude, that's actually kind of dope. Yeah. Oh, they got, have that's optional that's moments in the script. Optional, if hero is distressed, Marston returns with second cake apology. Interesting. Yeah, we got branch storylines. Wow. They have an optional dude. redemption dude. arc for <laughs> James. I, call him, man. I, really, I really appreciate that. That's funny. Oh, man. It's a girl. You know, yeah, it, was, it, was, it was a mistake. Vaughn's made a mistake. I told him. Yeah. I wanted to extend you a genuine apology. Uh, I appreciate the apology. I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's not, I'm it's glad they went that direction with his character. Sorry. There was a parade of moments that I thought were going to end <laughs> everything, that I thought surely no person would allow this to continue past this point. Sits on that? Yes. No. Because there's not enough yeah. chairs in there. The officer yeah. is getting fired because he lit the This is like a reality so. TV show. And when I came into court with these chair pants, it was such a move that I thought it would cause Ronald to just leave altogether uh, or mentally check out. What you waiting for? Oh, they were, they, they, I wasn't sure if they wanted me to bring the chair pants in to the... Uh, probably not, I would assume. Okay. <laughs> you know what? You take some risks sometimes, you know? Not all of them pay off. And the opposite happened. He was really supportive of the chair pants and uh, my future as uh, an inventor and engineer. You could have made I'm a big still Todd. Really, at the fact that this wasn't even a court case, you know. <laughs> so I'm still there. Yeah, he put so much work into that fucking case. 17 day trial included 12 witnesses, 20 pieces of evidence, and over 30 hours of incorrect testimony. Job. That's crazy, actually. We didn't realize that. <laughs> what we see is like five to 10 minutes. 30 hours of in-court testimony is so long. We didn't see the animation that he uses or that the plaintiff's lawyer uses. We saw it with Ronald for the first time, which was, <laughs> that was like too much. What's going on there? Is he done dancing by walking? Well, uh, Mr. Juror, please don't <laughs> Everyone's breaking there. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe you didn't show us that before. I thought you did a great job. I don't know what a judge is normally like, but I picture an old cranky judge just. <laughs> 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 I've been Fantastic practicing job. law for over four okay. years. What I kind right. of did. This guy was too good at being a judge. Producers did not anticipate Ronald's level of interest in the case and often scrambled to stay ahead of him. <laughs> That's actually so true, because at the very end, I mean, he had so many pieces of information. He was pulling things together. The right questions haven't been asked, is what I would say. I mean, really, it's kind of his fault for hiring, and like, if this guy was such a- Ronald said it. Yeah, yeah, he was like, he's such a flagrant, like, wrong alcoholic. Why, why did he hire him? I was doing this. Look at these chairs. It's literally, it's on them for hiring him. If they need He is saying literally as if he's Yeah. So, the Jorf shirts. It's made up. Yes, that's not a real word, right? Real word. I was like, yeah, that's... We were terrified that that wasn't going to work. More hateful than all known slurs combined? <laughs> and all known slurs combined. What a claim. The whole time we were in the factory, we were all just whispering about, like, is he upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> so it, might, it might be some shit up here. That's supervisor's office. But we can check anywhere. Bailiff Nikki. We can check anywhere, right? You can check anywhere you want. You were just like, no, dude, we can't, we can't go up there. It says personal only. I was like, F he's not getting up there. <laughs> and then it was only until Ken and Cassandra went Wait, up Nick. there. Let's go over here, bro. Nice. I mean, I didn't think about them like hiding mm. evidence in a back room. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have gone upstairs. We had so much fun at oh. Margaritaville. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 For coverage, if I turn to take Did they actually get drunk to go on my right? Anyone actually drink? Probably your right. Okay. There's that camera there. Thank you. And they can at least get that, and then there's that camera there, yeah, right? Perfect. I mean, there's so many actors here that could have fucked it up so royally. Wow, okay, this this shirt that he's wearing just got us this table, but now there's an, oh shit, so the people who complained, were those actors too? God damn it. <laughs> time out, time out. So the question it's is, like, together. so did you actually get drunk? Were you guys actually? We were. They let us have like one drink and the rest of them were virgins. All those shots All that he and I took. Well, we got you hammered, See, Ronald. that's what I was wondering. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I think I'm going to have a length of it sort of like lapping the bowl. Not that. 
And then yeah. we'll leave like a smear on the side of the bowl? Absolutely. Okay. And also I'm going to pre-skid uh, mark some toilet paper. I don't want to uh, be a producer uh, so on this show. The, what do I got to do? Yeah, toilet right. paper, then the turd, then the toilet paper. I come up paper, with some ridiculous And then shit. I'm going to bring a couple gallons of pre-made toilet water that looks like dirty mud. <laughs> and then fill the bowl up the to the sort of yeah, I'm going to take a shit in it that morning. It'll be my poop in that toilet. Oh, it's filled. Wow. See, if I was doing this show, I would have done it real. This is a potential fuck up. Ronald gets too close to that toilet. Hey, that doesn't look like shit. Suddenly the whole thing doesn't work anymore, huh? You take a real humid shit. You don't take risks like this when Gunner puts this show together. So, did you and Jeannie actually hook up or? <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> a girlfriend, man, so you just told. Yeah. We did yeah. um, I love the soaking. record video of us that was my doing favorite. that. That's my favorite <laughs> ending. Okay, I think you should come like This video had me cracking up. But cover your yourself with the covers. Right, right, right. Smaller or bigger jumps? Uh, <laughs> James, smaller jumps? Help Wait, bigger so jumps. Good. Okay. No, smaller jumps, James, please. Smaller jumps. <laughs> smaller jumps, please. James, smaller jumps. James, smaller jumps, please. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All the crazy shit that was happening and I should have known. I should have yeah. known. I had so much fun with you. I had a great time, yeah. I, <laughs> I remember we were like playing video games and you went like to me, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, he's my friend. Uh, I, cause I liked the people that I got yeah, to know. Yeah, yeah. you know, so. we're good actors. We're not that good. Yeah. Ninety, yeah. ninety percent of what you saw is really a it's part of us. So yeah, here's the I, deal: we I all saw. fell in love with you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I've met some good people here. Everybody's really nice. So, boys. Yeah, this show is gonna make me cry, man. Baby. Justice, bro, will be served. <laughs> so dumb. That's one thing being here um, helped me realize is I need to be helping more people out. Oh, dude. Or we go God, with this traps just I feel like so I haven't really sex. given back in a while, and I miss that feeling. It, it does feel good. Oh I mean, again, if I'm on this show, I'm doing the same shit I'm doing on this stream. Jury duty, what the fuck? I didn't want to do this. Can we get this shit over with? What's up? My name's Gunner. I do YouTube for a living. Why the fuck am I here? This is some bullshit. Ronald's just the nicest guy ever. Really, we just need to thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I told everybody that I was going into a documentary about what a juror's life is like, essentially, you know? I don't know how I'm gonna change that. I just tell him, say, hey, I guess I was just in a show about me. <laughs> I saw him on like a red carpet thing like yesterday. Uh, yeah. Ah, it's my favorite picture. Say, the idea of James Marsden is like a famous actor just hanging out with Ronald after. It's so nice. Uh, oh, wait, actually, so because this wasn't real, I still could potentially get called for jury duty. Wait, damn it. That blows. Okay, I'll see you there, know. Ronald. Good to know. You want to go next month with me? Damn, that's a good ass show. I'm really happy. I was wondering like, what could that last episode be? I thought shit was just gonna go wild, but I'm very happy that it just happened to be very nice background information on the show.